Hi all, welcome to Andrea and D'Souza's Kitchen. It's been a long time since I posted any recipe, so I thought I'd post one for you. A delicious keema or mutton mince that my friend Barbara has taught me how to prepare. And thank you for your number of messages that you sent me about why there were no recipes on my channel and asking me if I was well, etc. Thank you very much for your concern and I hope you too have been well in the last few months of this lockdown. Now, without taking up any more of your time, I'm going to start preparing this dish. I've made a few changes here and there to the original recipe according to what we like to eat here at my place. I hope you enjoy it as much as we do. I'm going to take around 4 or 5 medium sized onions and I'm going to chop them very fine. Then in my pan, I'm going to take around 2 large cooking spoons of oil. This is the size of the spoon that I'm going to use. And, and when the oil is hot, I'm going to add my onions and I'm going to fry my onions until they are brownish, tender and brown. You do not need too much of oil because anyway your mutton will leave out a lot of oil and you want your mince to be dry. So the less oil the better. While my onion is frying, I'll wash my mince well and keep it aside. I have used 1 kg of mutton mince. When my onion turns slightly brown and tender, I'm going to add around 2 tablespoons, 2 full tablespoons of jeera or cumin. I'll fry that for a minute or two and then I'm going to add my mince to the onions. And I'm going to let it fry on a high flame for around 5 minutes. High flame because I want my mince to turn brown and I also want that raw smell to go away. I will also continuously break the lumps that are formed because I do not like my keema to be lumpy. Once all the lumps are broken and that raw smell is gone, I'll add around 1 teaspoon of salt. You can add salt according to your own taste. And I'm also going to add around 2 heaped teaspoons of grated garlic and grated ginger. You can also crush or grind it if you like. I will also be adding around 2 or 3 chopped green chilies and around 2 sprigs of kadipatta leaves stoned with the hand. After that, I'm going to add around two finely chopped tomatoes and I'm going to mix everything well and then I'm going to cover it and let it cook on a very low flame for around half an hour. As it is cooking on a low flame, you will notice that you do not need to add any water because this mutton will leave out its own water and a lot of its own oil. So it will cook in its own juices. After half an hour, add around two heaped tablespoons of chilli powder. You can add even less if you think it is too spicy for you. And also add around 2 tablespoons, that is again heaped tablespoons of dhania or coriander powder. Again mix it very well and break the lumps and cover it and let it cook on a very low flame for another 10 or 15 minutes. This is what it will look like in around 15 minutes. You mix it well once you open it and you add around quarter teaspoon of garam masala powder or maybe half teaspoon. I have used Andrea's special garam masala powder. You can find the recipe in my YouTube channel. In case you don't have that, you can use whichever garam masala powder that you have at home. Mix it all well and then switch off the flame after 2-3 minutes of adding that garam masala powder. It looks very appetizing, doesn't it? Once it cools down a little bit, add around uh, the juice of one small lime and add some coriander leaves and chopped green chilies and mix it all well before serving. You can eat it with pao, you can eat it with parathas, chapatis, you can use it as a filling for your samosas or your potato chops or you can just eat it plain. Anything that you like. It's going to be delicious in every way. Do try out this dish and give me your feedback through your phone calls and emails, messages etc. And let me know how much you and your family enjoyed this dish, which I'm sure you will. And also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yes, as some of you have asked me, it's absolutely free. And also do not forget to like my videos. Thank you and have a great day ahead.